Welcome back. Today we're not going to be on the computer at all. Instead, we're going to be working completely analog. That means no computer aided design, no control Z, and no copy paste. What could go wrong? Everything. Today, in a change of pace, I'm going to do some analog painting with actual real paints. So, uh, no undo button today. Some very expensive uh, kits here. So, the other week, I was messing around with some acrylic paints. Supposed to be... Well, I've got, I've got the ears the wrong way around, but you get the idea. I drew these and now I've got requests to do some more. So that's when, what I'm going to do today is paint some more animals really badly. Just to open these up. And these are horrible. Oh God. Come on. In addition to these kind of cheap acrylic paints, which are a bit, bit light on the pigment, I went and bought some more uh, neon colours as well, which I'm keen to try out. And again, because these are cheap paints and low on pigment, I got another white, which should hopefully be a bit thicker. So um, when mixing and highlighting and stuff, it should be a bit easier. And then these are paintbrushes. This is the only water thing I've got is a cocktail shaker. I can't find a pencil case. Hopefully this will not show through too badly. <laughs> oh God. Right, well, here we go then. All the three of the dogs I'm painting are yellow dogs. So I'm trying to save time by painting all the dogs with the same color. Oh, the same color, so I can probably use the same palette for most of these and then work up from there. I have no idea what dogs these are. There's a I think that's a one of those guide dog kind of dogs. I don't know what that is. That's one of those um super muscly dogs. That's one of those really fluffy dogs. That clears things up I think. This colour is gonna be green. No idea what I'm doing yeah, this is why people have pellet knives. Well, I could say you call that dumb. Uh, so, yeah, this was red, green, blue, no black, yellow, lots of yellow. I think some of the neon yellow. Oh, that's almost running out, but yeah. So anyway, I'm mixing a gray now. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh God. I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> Fresh water. Yellow. The ultimate artist trick is to never wash the brush so you get these kind of fancy fancy looking blending effects but really it's because you're lazy and are just smashing paint on other paint so you get all these other colors mixed in and then people will think you've spent ages blending stuff together trying to make it look sort of all um realistic and you know dappled light and all that when really you're just being a lazy ass So that's my top tip. Break four. Drizzo. Tea break. So I've now got some reference on the tablet for this one because I don't think it's the right shape. Uh, that one probably needs some work as well. No. Yeah. Oh dear.
Sometimes you hit the point of no return with the painting and you just have to admit defeat. So, um, lesson learned there. But I did manage to save this one and turn it into a cat. So look out for that later. So at this stage, it, <laughs> it felt very easy to give up because everything looked terrible and um, I'd wasted a canvas, so it seemed, and nothing, nothing looked right at all. But I skipped forward maybe an hour and then within the hour I was able to recover some of what I'd um, ballsed up. Although the longer you do something, the more the mistakes can compound. And for the, I think it's a pug or pug cross or something. I ended up drawing the eyes on that one about five times. <laughs> That's the one good thing about acrylic paints is you can just keep painting over the top of it without too much consequence. So that's, um, that's good. So off we go with attempt number two at the Labrador. And a cat. <laughs> so this was the overpaint I made from the original Labrador failure. And uh, I quite like it. Attempt number two. I say this now already very tired in the same day, but at this stage I was getting tired. So I stopped making commentary um, while I'm doing things. So I just make random clips. So um, I'm filling in the gaps now. So that was the second cat. I didn't comment at all when I started that, but that's another cat I've begun and it is actually using a photo reference. I guess it's somewhat better than the other ones because it is more accurate in a way i mean i still can't draw but i'm not drawing badly because i'm not using reference i'm drawing badly from reference so that's moderately better uh. Uh. this black cat is the failed labrador canvas Swiftly making progress on the next Labrador picture and the uh, the second cat. Mm, because I hate everything I create almost immediately after I create it, um, I couldn't obviously leave all the other paintings alone while I'm finishing off the last two. So every time I was waiting for something to dry, I would start going and overpainting and updating and tweaking the other pictures. On the home's drench now and just a few things to basically outline and highlight, I think. Although I decided for the Labrador to um, add three different color highlights to all the lines, redo the eyes for another four times, overpaint the color, change that, and repaint the background. Note to self for next time, use a waterproof tablecloth. Because all the paint, because all the paint went straight through onto the table. Thankfully, because it's acrylic, it's easy to clean off. Not so much with oils and stuff, perhaps, but I do like acrylic. So here are the final results. The three pictures I did last week, and then the th six I did today. And uh, with varying degrees of um, quality, I guess. So uh, yeah, here you go, enjoy.